Welcome back. We're going to play some more 10 minute shogi. I know last time you really appreciated my using the alphabet pieces, but we're going to do something different. <laughs> we're going to go back to using the kanji's pieces, and you're going to enjoy it. Good luck. All right, so let's open this bishop diagonal. These moves sound very loud. Have I done something wrong? Yes, my speakers are too loud. All right, hopefully that corrects the audio issue. Let's close this diagonal and play third file rook. Okay, and then move the king up to twice unless they move their king more than I do. Okay, so I've moved my king twice. They've not moved their king, so at this point, actually, they've their bishop is not supported, so I should open this diagonal here to exploit their bishop not being protected. Um, we've applied a ton of pressure on this position. They've moved their king. I'll move mine once more. Um, <laughs> yeah, some would call these the regular pieces. Fancy that. Such people, I suppose, would be called normal. Um, so if I push here, if they exchange and I drop the rook back, they bring the silver up that hits this pawn. Right now I can't use my silver to defend this pawn because I didn't anticipate the situation far enough in advance. Um, if I try to use my rook to defend the pawn, things get messy, but perhaps good. Uh, I might end up playing my rook back to the fourth file here. Okay might not be able to easily get my rook to the fourth file. Um, unless I do it right now, instead of bringing the silver out. Hmm. If I bring this over, they move the silver, we exchange pawns, they drop pawn trapping my rook. I push here, trying to escape my rook. I do not escape. I could Instead, try to use a knight to excavate the rook, but that's not going too far. Um, man, there's nothing tricky I can do here. So... Okay, we'll see if the silver moves up in a way that doesn't really fit with the rest of their castle. We have a pawn in hand, and can drop the rook back here. And I mentioned that this will get messy, but again, possibly worth it. So I could lift the rook and we get some fun tactics, or I could bring the rook into the bishop line, and again we get some fun tactics. Um, which is more fun? Not blocking my bishop, I suppose. Nanafun. Blocking my bishop doesn't seem very fun. I don't know. Hard to say. Actually, blocking my bishop has some merit here. If they open this line, then we go over here. And we see what they're planning. Uh, if this is their plan, I do not understand it. Okay, let's exchange. And then activate this rook. And we'll see exactly what they're planning in just a second. Um, OK. 
Okay, let's hit the knight. I guess they're planning to attack my king. That wasn't so hard to discover now, was it? Why did I pretend this was hard to discover? Alright, let's hit the bishop. This will let me slowly get my silver into place, or gold into place, or something like that. Mm-hmm. All right, they're going to break my castle, but I'm okay with that. Um, Go for me. Should I be okay with this? I don't know. Hmm. All right. See their rook capture this. Then again, block the rook. Um, this will exchange knights this way. Okay, are they going to drop a silver? They drop a knight instead. All right. Um, how do they defend against this? Now that I left that selected for like two seconds, that's going to be the flashing image that YouTube picks as my thumbnail. I suppose it is somewhat mesmerizing. Anyway. Um... Okay, my opponent has a bishop in hand. Hmm, that makes sense.
So next I want to collect the snipe and just drown out their attack. I suppose they want to promote a bishop right in front of my king. So I prefer them to not be able to do that. Um, well, actually, if they drop a bishop, I can take this, and then my king can take the pawn next. And it'll be a bit of a trek across the board, but I should be able to make it intact. Well, also, if they drop here, I could chase the bishop, but that's kind of silly, with the rook hanging and all. Okay, so plan B of pursuing this bishop might be the reasonable course here. No, no, just kidding. Um... It's a bit of a mess, now that I think a bit more about it. <laughs> so if my gold moves, bishop takes, I lose my rook. Um, their bishop can't go anywhere. That's weird. Oh, I thought my king could take this pawn. That's not good. My whole plan revolved around king takes pawn here. I need to find a way to make that happen now. Alright. Well, I made this complicated. But I might survive in a fun way, so... Uh, they're going to promote their knight next. This is going to suck. Oh. Just kidding. I'm forced to sack my rook this way for the horse. Okay. They have shut down my attack. I'm glad to have survived. We're going to build a second castle today. Yep, it sucks. Don't lose my rook to a fork. Don't lose my rook to a fork. They're going to do night check soon, I suppose. Assessing all this is difficult. I should make an escape hatch for my king. I need to lift the silver, but then I lose... A... No, that doesn't work. 
All right. Yolo. Have I made it in one? I hope not. That's not quite made in one. Um. I don't know what to do about this bishop. Thanks for the game. Well played. I didn't allocate my time properly. Let's play another. Good luck. Well, I might have taken a pawn. Yay me. I might have had mate... <laughs> Whereas I got a pawn. <laughs> might have had mate if I played it well. But, uh, alas, no mate for me today.
they just trap their bishop. Like, there's... Um... I was about to get overly fancy here. I don't need to. Let's just put our rook back on the open file. Oh, and then the rook drops back. I don't even need to like place a pawn here or anything. All right, we got a bishop. That works. Okay, that's a fork, sure. I accept that that's a fork. Um. Nana fun. Hmm. Oh, wait, there's tactics here. Um, this is complicated. I have two bishops. Whoa. I've got two bishops. How did that happen? I'm going to play this move even though I know it's not perfect. I spent forever on that and I'm still not happy with it, but I don't see the better move. Also, my fork idea sucks. Gofun. Noted. Alright, so... The fuck do I do? I don't know. Let's build a castle and try not to mess this up too much. Um, let's drop the rook back somewhere where I'm not going to hang everything. Yep, they play the predictable pawn drop. I should have done this ages ago. Um, I could still take that, but why? Well, this busts up their shape a little bit. Um. Yeah, I... attacking is not easy for me. It requires me to be able to identify weaknesses and then exploit them. OK, 
Okay, let's try to... We've got multiple pawns. That means we should have some edge file tactic available. I almost misclicked that. That would have been sad. I just hung another piece. I should be better at this game. I should understand how tactics work after a while of playing this instead of hanging all of my pieces. Um, why is Shogi so difficult? Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. I just have to yell at my microphone a bit. That's what it takes to win, right? Uh, yeah, I thought so. Good luck.
Fuck. I should have pushed the pawn. Gosh darn it. Pushing the pawn is one way to go here. Okay, that's amazing. That's original. Um, sure. Okay. Shogi is difficult. I've said it many times already. But yeah, the, the tactics that can show up in these openings are difficult to navigate, especially the first time. Um, I have no idea what to do here. think this is reasonable. So if they're gold attacks, okay. I've got myself in really deep here, where I just am overwhelmed. Um, But I think my attack on their king does count for something. I just don't know how much. You know, I've studied it like five times, and the answer, unfortunately, Shogi explained, is, I confess I do not know. Um, it's even more ironic, because in Road to Shodan, episode 4, Fooling the Opponent, they cover this very variation, and the point is that you push this pawn, and, like, there's a fork. So, you think I would know it, but if I keep playing like this, do I know it? Probably not. Um, that said, I think fortune will favor the brave in this case, because uh, I'm attacking this gold, and my attack is going to get stronger and stronger every turn. Unless I'm missing something. So let's line up this rook on the open file. Let's prepare a bishop battery to strike this way. Can prepare this knight drop to strike with maximum effect. If they want to give me a token for free, that's cool too. Um, which way do I take it? Um, no, I don't take it yet. First we try to checkmate. Knight drop, they escape. If I drop a bishop, they, they move a gold up here. Hmm. Oh, they've prevented me dropping the bishop there. Um... I think this is the trappiest way I can play this line. Okay. Uh, I was expecting them to take the lance and then I would drop a bishop here. And with this bishop drop, they move the silver, I would take the silver, gold takes, and then... Oh, I don't have a gold, I'd have a silver. Never mind. I thought I had made the gold drop, but the gold would be here, not in my hand. Anywho, um, I think I am slightly better in this position. But I should study my openings, because this is embarrassing. 
Thanks for the game. Yeah, I apologize that I did not play that correctly. It wasn't my intent to torture the opponent. Uh, it's just I did not play that correctly. I was trying. Someday I'll get it right. Yes, well... Yeah, we all fall for traps from time to time. Yeah, yeah, that's the surprising part, is that I am the player who executed an opening trap. Um, so it's not so much that the opponent fell for it, it's that I actually executed on this instead of wimping out. But yes, I did not play that correctly, so I'm going to have to study it once more. <laughs> We're going to study it and, you know, given enough trial and error, given enough games... Eventually we'll figure it out. But yeah, they uh, Hidechi does recommend that uh, you play the pieces on the board after the game so that you imprint on your mind the correct move. And I've been doing this on the virtual board um, inside of various Shogi software, but there's no substitute for a real board. I have studied chess in similar fashion with openings where I would move physical pieces on a physical board and it would help me better learn my opening variations and remember them. Um, and so, yeah, it wouldn't hurt for me to do similar with Shogi at some point. But here we are. We won two games today. Brings us two wins closer to getting the 10th anniversary special avatar. So, uh, actually, at present, I don't have a real board. I'm working on it, but I don't have one yet. I'm still looking out for a good board. We'll figure it out. But yeah, hope we enjoyed these games, and thanks for watching.